Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of the film Guns Akimbo. Now this movie is out there, you may have to search a little bit to find it. When I first started watching it, uh, you know, it starts off Daniel Radcliffe, who was uh, Harry Potter. I thought, man, he has, his career has really just hit the skids. Because this is a film about a, a nerdy little guy named Miles, you know, played by Radcliffe. Uh, he, he has a job, but it's, a, you know, working in computers. But he also, at night, tunes in to a, a deep web uh, channel where it has people who compete against each other and try to kill each other. And they've got, you know, drones overhead filming everything. So you're watching two people actually seriously go head to head and try to kill each other. And Miles sends in some comments, some kind of little terse comments because he's in the safety of his home that kind of ticks some of the people off who are in charge of this programming. And so they come and get him. Not giving any spoilers because this is all in the first five to ten minutes of the movie and it's the way it's advertised. But what they do is they want him to become a competitor against the reigning champion. It's a woman named Nix, played by Samara Weaving. And they drug Miles, knock him out. And when he comes through, he has two guns welded to his hands. I mean, they've got so he cannot take them off. And then his job, they say, you know, the only way you can will help you is if you go against Nix, whatever her name is, and take her out, then you'll be the champion and we'll, you know, take care of you. That, you know, to me, that was a wild premise. I didn't, you know, didn't see any way that it could be a redeemable movie. But then you get into it and it is so bizarre and it is so over the top and it's so wild in its whole setup and premise of these people doing everything to kill each other and then there are people who get in the way and Miles has an ex-girlfriend, her, her name is Nova, she's played by, let me get her name, Natasha Lou Bordizo. Natasha Lou Bordizo. And, and she gets involved in the situation and you know they threaten her life if he doesn't do the things that, that they want him to do. The main bad guys is played by an actor by the name of Ned Dennehy, and he is as villainous as you want it to be. But what I'm saying is this movie starts out, and it's absurd, and you would think, okay, this is going to be a loser, loser, loser. But the absurdity piles on top of each other, and the absurdity makes the movie get better and better and better, and you, you, you can't turn your eyes away, and, and you've got to know how this thing ends, and I, I was fascinated by it. I really was. And I think that, you know, it's going to have a cult following. If, you know, unless people see it, it's going to be one of those films that people say, hey, did you see Guns Akimbo? you got to see it. You know, it's, it's just, it's wild. you, you got to see it. Samara Weaving, uh, who plays the, the woman who's the reigning champion of killing people, she is the actress who was in a movie called Ready or Not where this woman marries into a family and then it becomes a chase. They're trying to kill her in, in order to be accepted into the family. She has to survive the night in this big, creepy mansion. She amazed me. That was the first time I remembered seeing her was in that movie. Uh, but she, she is so good in that film, and then she's so good in this film. This film, of course, is rated R because there's profanity, tons of violence. I scored this one. 7 out of 10. I, I'm sorry. I bought into it. It just got better and better and better. Uh, it's got its flaws, but just the whole idea of the film is so different than anything else that you would normally see that, that they sold me. So reach down there, hit the subscribe button, become a part of the gang that you know, meets here on YouTube for me to talk about these movie reviews. But for today... This has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown with a review of the film Guns Akimbo.